So, you've got a PwC and you want to go exploring. And everybody you've seen on YouTube that's out there exploring on their PwCs, they have these really nice racks to carry extra fuel, extra food, extra whatever it is they want to carry. So you looked online and you realize those things are not cheap. Well, I might have a solution for you. Hey everybody, this is Captain Frank with the Ship's Log. Thanks for joining me again today. Um, got something a little different for you today. Uh, as you know, I have a 2021 uh, FX Cruiser SVHO, and I plan on doing some exploring this year with it. Uh, have a trip to Florida in just a couple of weeks. Got some other big things planned for later on in the year. And uh, I want to be able to carry along extra fuel, extra supplies, extra food, whatever, when we go on some of these trips. Um, and not all that stuff's gonna fit in the storage that is on the ski itself, especially fuel. Of course, you shouldn't be trying to keep fuel in the storage compartment on the ski. So, uh, a lot of people, of course, they use these uh, specially made racks that are made for carrying fuel, coolers, whatever it is, uh, that fit on the back of the ski. But if you've looked online, those things are actually pretty expensive. I've seen $800,000 or even more for some of those specially made racks. And uh, you may not want to spend that much. So I have something that I think just might work for you. Uh, and that's this right here. Uh, this is something that I picked up off of Amazon uh, a few days ago. Um, I will put a link down in the description so that you can uh, go take a look at it yourself in case you want to order one. Um, but this is actually a called, it's a collapsible crate uh, that is made uh, by Big Ant. And what I did, um, this is the medium sized crate. Uh, I spent about $40 on this and of course with the Amazon Prime, it was free shipping. Uh, and it basically unfolds and everything snaps into place. So. Once you get everything snapped into place, it's actually a pretty sturdy crate. Uh, and then all you have to do is figure out how you're going to attach it to the back of your ski. Now, in order to do that, I got some of these uh, adjustable bungees. Um, I did consider using uh, the ratchet straps, but I decided against that, number one, because at least on my ski, Whenever I tried to use the ratchet straps, the ratchet part always seemed to line up in an area where it could scratch the ski, and I didn't want to do that. Uh, so I, with these, which don't have that issue, uh, the ratchet straps, of course, if you're going to ride in salt water, they're going to be the, potentially be the issue of the ratchet, of course, getting rusty, and eventually they're just not going to work very well. Uh, of course, these hooks right here are made of metal, and I'm sure eventually they will rust but uh, it's not going to affect their use. Uh, and a package of these five straps uh, I got at Lowe's and it was like 13 bucks. So if it ever gets to the point where there's too much rust on these hooks, then it's pretty easy just to go get another set and we're good to go. But um, I think it worked really well as far as is, is it going together. It's nice and sturdy. Uh, I think this is gonna be great for the job. So, uh, Let's go give it a shot and see what happens. Okay, so just to let you know a little bit about the process that I used here, they do have more than one size uh, for this basket. So I actually came out here, measured the back of my ski, and I kind of picked the one that I felt would fit the best. There, there's a couple that are larger than this. There's actually one that's smaller than this. Uh, and really, the, the next larger size up, I probably could have put on here and it been comfortable enough and been able to secure it just as well. But I, I really wanted to go uh, with something that, number one, didn't actually extend over the back at all. 
just in case I needed to use uh, the step to get back up on the ski. I wanted to make sure that, that nothing was going to get in my way of doing that. Uh, I also wanted to make sure that whatever I put back here, that I had ample space on either side so that I could uh, step, if I did have to get back out of the water onto the ski, I'd have some place to step on either side so I can comfortably get back on. So uh, I think I actually could have gotten a, a slightly larger one and it still would have worked. But again, I was trying to go with something that I knew was going to work really well. So that's why I picked this particular size right here. I also looked at using um, ratchet straps to secure it. Uh, the reason I didn't do that uh, is number one, if I ride in salt water, um, then obviously those ratchets are gonna get exposed to salt water. And after a period of time, they're just not gonna work very well. So that was one reason I did that. The other reason is because it seemed like whenever I tried putting those anywhere uh, on this to secure it, it seemed like the ratchet portion always lined up with an area of my ski that could have gotten scratched. And I definitely did not want to do that. So what I did is I went to Lowe's and um, I got these adjustable bungees. And what's really cool about these is in addition to having a set length, you've got a hook on either side. It also has several hooking spots along the bungee itself which makes it really easy to adjust it when you're securing something. So if, for example, I decided I wanted to tighten this up a little bit more, because you see it's just still a little bit loose here, all I have to do is unhook it, pull it tighter, and hook it in the next one to make it a lot more tighter. So. Um, that really allows you to make this uh, a basket really secure. So, again, may not be the same thing with yours. You may find out that the ratchet straps work really well because maybe you can fit it on your ski and not really have any issues with it lining up with some place that's going to scratch your ski. Uh, that's great. They're wonderful. Uh, and, and if you can find that those work for you, then, then more power to you. So, um, so I literally have one hooking the basket to my hook down here on this side. Same thing on that side over there. And then I've also got two at the top going to my toe hook back here. One from the basket here to the toe hook, one from over here as well. And you'll see that, you know, it's, it's I'm shaking the ski by shaking this basket. So uh, I don't think it's going anywhere. So that's, that's a really good thing. So, and then I can just put whatever I want to put in it. Now, once you do that, it's probably a good idea to have another one of these so that if you're putting fuel cans in here or anything else, that you can also strap those down to make sure that they're not going to go anywhere as well because you don't want anything bouncing out of your, your basket as you're riding. So the cool thing that I like about this is once you get it all set up, it easily holds two five-gallon cans of gasoline. So if you're actually going on any adventures where you feel that you're going to need some extra fuel or you're just not sure or you want to take it along just to be safe, just in case you don't run across any uh, marinas out there, easily done. So this is 10 extra gallons of fuel that you can, you, you can carry. This is over an additional half tank for this particular ski. For some skis, that may be even close to another full tank. So... Uh, Obviously, it's going to increase your range a lot more, make you feel a lot more comfortable when it comes to uh, going into some areas that you're not quite so familiar with. So this is a nice little touch here. Or maybe you're not really going that far, but you just want to carry some extra stuff with you. Maybe you want to carry a cooler full of goodies that you can have on a remote island somewhere that you found. So um, this also fits very nicely. Uh, in this, I actually have a little bit of room on either side, or I can maybe slide the cooler over to one side and have some room uh, for something else as, uh, here as well. So um, the point is, is there's a lot of different things that, uh, that you can carry once you have this secured. So uh, I think it's going to work really well. Uh, in a couple of weeks, uh, I am uh, heading down to Florida, going to do some riding down there. Uh, I'll be testing this out. I'll probably be carrying some fuel, maybe carrying some other stuff, uh, or maybe I'll have a, a can of fuel in one side and maybe something else on another side. 
but I'll, I'll try it out. I'll test it out. I'm sure I'll be shooting video when I'm on that uh, on that run, so y'all will actually get to see that. Um, but I think it's going to work really well. It's nice and sturdy. Um, as you see, I did choose one of these uh, or use one of these bungees right here to just kind of hold the cooler in. Obviously, if you're going across some waves or something, you don't want stuff bouncing out of here. Uh, I did the same thing. I don't know if you noticed, but when I had the gas cans in there, I also had this bungee kind of going through those and holding those down as well. So definitely a good idea uh, because you don't want stuff bouncing out of the uh, the basket when you're when you're running. So what do you think? Uh, I think it's actually going to work rather well. Uh, a couple things, I really like the way that it actually does uh, fold up into a nice compact um, pretty flat box here. Uh, this will actually fit in the storage compartment of my ski so if I just want to keep it there when I'm not using it or when I'm not riding very easy to do that. That way it's always with the ski. Um, it's heavy enough to where you can tell it's well made but it's not extremely heavy so uh, that is nice as well. Uh, as you can see I can carry extra fuel, I can carry uh, extra supplies, I can put a cooler in there, uh, I can carry all kinds of things and it seems to be really 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 sturdy when I connect it to the ski. Um, now n definitely not a knock on the more expensive custom made solutions. This is obviously much cheaper. Uh, like I said 40 bucks for this. There's a smaller size. I think there's a couple of sizes that are larger as well. Um, those custom made uh, racks they're really good. I mean they're, they're obviously very sturdy they're, they're specifically made for this type of solution. Some of them, if you've seen, have uh, rod holders. So if you do fishing from your ski, that'll come in handy. Uh, some of them have holders for speakers and things like that. So really, really nice products. Um, I just wasn't quite sure I wanted to spend that kind of money uh, for something that just allowed me to carry some fuel or carry some, some other supplies. So. Um, what I'd like to know is, is what does everybody here do? Uh, do you do something similar to this? Do you have one of those expensive racks? Maybe there's something about those that I'm not aware of that you would like to make sure you put it in the description uh, to let me know maybe what I'm missing about those. Uh, do you have uh, some other solution, some other uh, method that you use for carrying extra stuff? I would love to hear that and I'm sure everybody else would love to hear that as well. So, so please uh, put it down in the comments uh, what your opinions are of this, uh, what, uh, what do you use if you actually have some of the solution. Uh, again, I will put a link to this down in the comments in, in case you do want to, uh, to take, or down in the description, in case you do want to take a look at that yourself. Um, but um, I think it's going to work well. Like I said, in a couple of weeks, I will be doing some riding down in Florida. I do plan on having this on my ski when I do that. Um, I will be recording that as well so y'all will get a chance to, to see how it all works out. Um, so thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like uh, the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe, especially if you uh, want to look at the next video and see how this all works out. Um, also, a big thing we got coming up later on this year, we are planning, when I say we, I mean some of my friends that I ride with and I, we are planning on taking the skis uh, to Florida and then crossing over to the Bahamas. Uh, so that will be absolutely a fantastic time I'm sure. If this thing works out well with my testing in Florida in a couple of weeks, this will definitely be going with me on that trip. Um, so a lot of good things coming up. Uh, please uh, again don't first forget to subscribe and thanks for joining me and we will see you next time.